The product's harvested out in the fields, thrown on a truck. It's brought into the facility. We've got systems in place to kind of identify which lines they need to line up to. Product starts dumping up on our receiving, goes into our sorting building uh, where we'll have people actually sort out the off types and any other like diseased ears or anything like that that we want taken out of those batches. And then from there it, it lands in a dryer and then we'll monitor that product in the dryer with the moistures. Once the, it's gone through the drying cycle, we'll send it over to our shelling building and then that product actually lands in our bulk storage. And then it goes through a, a sizing and cleaning process in the tower, it goes through a treating process and then eventually into one of our packaging lines and then from there it lands in the warehouse and it's ready to be shipped out. Here, here in Constantine we work with about 50 to 60 growers on a yearly basis um, to grow about 25,000 female acres here for this facility. Our, our biggest growing areas are the Schoolcraft Vicksburg Menden areas. Uh, we've been able to establish uh, very loyal relationships uh, with, with our growers. A lot of the growers have been here the entire time I have been. A lot of it really pertains to the reliability of the soil types. Uh, you know, it's a sandy loam soil type here at this location. We're working with those growers throughout the growing season on what what we're seeing out in the fields as far as disease or insect pressure, um, weather conditions, weather patterns on whether they need to start up their, their pivots or, or what have you um, to really grow that, that high quality seed um, that we're looking for. Technology has played a huge role. A lot of the automation aspects and stuff has just made the, the job simpler. I think it's also helped in maintaining product integrity. It just made it that much better of a process for it. Seed that is grown here in Southwest Michigan, from a commercial standpoint, could be grown all across the country and into Canada.